Hey, I'm Nick, and if you make YouTube videos, you already know that thumbnails are everything. You can spend hours making a great video, but if the thumbnail's not pulling attention, nobody's clicking. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take a basic thumbnail image and make it pop using Luminar Neo, step by step. This image was pulled from a video I'm working on about a vintage camera I just picked up and I'll show you exactly how I enhanced it. All right, so moving on to the Luminar Neo app, this image is three by two. So first, what we're gonna wanna do is crop it to 16 by nine, because that's the format that YouTube thumbnails are shot in. So we're gonna hit apply right here. And now this image, just looking at it, is super flat, super washed out, has no color to it, and it's just too dark. So first, what I like to do is go over to Enhance AI and bring up the accent to somewhere around 50. This is going to bring some life back to the image. Next, we're going to go over to Relight AI and start bringing the brightness near up. Now with this, we don't want to bring it up too much because as you can see, the Canon logo is already super bright because there's a light shining on it. So if I bring this up too high, it washes out the image and we can't see the Canon logo. So we want to bring it somewhere around 12 should be good. Now the background is really dark, so we can be a little more generous with the background. I think 40 looks good to start. And I think now we can move on to super contrast. So right off the bat, I'm just going to crank up highlight contrast to 100%. This is going to bring back more detail, more separation in the highlights and the dark within this camera right here. Now the midtones we can bring up to around 20. We don't want to bring it up too much because this will start to saturate my hand and we don't really want that. It's going to look unnatural. And then shadows, something like that as well. Around 20 looks good. As you can see, this is already a huge difference. The image before was super flat, super washed out and now we're bringing some life back into it. Next, we'll head over to vignette. Here we go. And I generally like 25, negative 25 on the vignette. Just adds a slight little darkening to the edges, which draws your eye towards the center of the image. Tells the viewer where to look. Now we can just further enhance this a bit more. It's already looking really good, but let's go over to the develop tab and just tweak the highlights and shadows. So highlights, I'm gonna drop it a bit, maybe about minus 15 should be good. And for the shadows, we're gonna really crank it up a bit. I think somewhere around 55 looks good. Bring that brightness, that pop back to the image. Now we can click on the blacks and whites and further tweak this some more. I'll just drop the whites down even more so we don't get that harsh clipping look. Maybe around 35 looks good. And for the blacks, we're gonna brighten them up somewhere around 30. And honestly, this image for me is good to go. If you can see the beginning, huge difference in the image, completely washed out. No one would click on this thumbnail at all. If anyone was searching for a video on the Canon PowerShot, this would honestly be the last thumbnail that I would click on. But now after all of these modifications, this will stand out a lot more on YouTube's platform. So if you've got a great video, but your thumbnails aren't getting any views, try running them through Luminar Neo. It's quick, powerful, and makes a huge difference. Subscribe to the channel for more creator-focused tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.